In this video, we are going to go over how to do link shading in LASX. So link shading or shading correction is required whenever we have this uneven illumination across each field of view, and it is usually very obvious when we are doing tile scans or mosaic merge. So I'm going to demonstrate everything here on LASX Navigator. However, you can do this all in our traditional interface as well. So before we get started, the very first thing you want to do is make sure that your image looks good in terms of your exposure time and white balance. Next, you want to launch this link shading wizard, which is this white box. And under this wizard, you can follow all of the directions, which will take you through storing a XYZ position, moving to a blank area, lowering the Z drive, and then going back to that XYZ position. However, I often just go skip right to the acquire tab and only assign a reference to the objective that I'm on. You can go through all of the objectives if you wish, although I find that it's more useful to do it right when you need it. So the contrasting method here is Brightfield and the camera that we're using is the DMC 6200. Uh, we are in color mode, and you'll see you can see that these other two objectives already have a reference as indicated by this green dot. However, let's create a single reference for our 10x objective. So the first thing we want to do is move to a blank area, and let's go live and zoom in. So because you're doing a shading correction, it's very important not to have any spots or dots in your field of view because that will affect your reference image. You'll need to defocus to get rid of the dots. Sometimes you don't have a choice because you might have dirt on your camera um, and other times your slide might not be great so it, it's, you can put in a blank slide or something else in the, in the light path. When you're happy, you can hit single reference And now it's going to go through all of the various image formats available on this camera. Now this is going to vary by camera. This camera happens to have a 20 megapixel 36 shot exposure, which is, takes quite a long time. So usually link shading does not take this long, but um, on this camera it does. One really important thing to consider when you're doing link shading on bright field images is to not overexpose your image. So if it's too bright, it will actually send back an error message telling you that it can't perform the link shading, in which case you need to lower your exposure and repeat this process. Now, you only have to do this once per objective and per contrast method and camera. So in, if you are always doing this, you can just always come back to this link shading wizard and skip the wizard and just hit activate link shading. When you hit this button, it also allows you to check this box for activate link shading correction for live image. And this will uh, reduce your frame rate if you are trying to go faster. And now our link shading is activated. So all shading references are valid. Now just to check our link shading, whether it worked, I'm going to come back to our sample, refocus, and if you had followed the wizard, you could have just restored the position, XYZ position, and not, and not do this. And then I'm going to hit start. So now you can see I have a perfectly balanced image without uneven illumination.